Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel today we going to talk about the top 10 most popular dog breed in 2021. Do you know what are the 10 most popular dog breeds? Let's check out this amazing top 10 list of the most popular dog breeds in the world. Number 10. Pugs. Pugs are members of the toy group despite their solid appearance. They are square dogs with substantial limbs. Pugs are the sturdiest dogs of the toy group, befitting their mastiff heritage. They have a short, but very dense double coat. Colors can range from apricot to fawn, silver and black. All but the black dogs have a dark mask and ears with a trace of darkening down the back. The ears feel like black velvet. Pugs are extremely easy to keep and have a serious tendency to become obese unless their diet and exercise are watched carefully. With the short muzzle, they do not do well in hot, humid weather and must be observed carefully for heat stroke. Pugs do tend to snore, again a result of the short muzzle. The prominent eyes are easily injured and care must be taken to keep them moist. Grooming is important, both for the shedding from the dense coat and to keep facial wrinkles clean. A quick daily grooming, even a swipe with a hound mitt, usually suffices for the coat and a gentle wiping with a wet cloth for the face. Number 9. Poodle. Poodles are notorious for their intelligence and ease of training. They are lively, active, fun-loving and family dogs with a sense of the ridiculous. Poodles come in three sizes or varieties, the standard, the miniature and the toy. All the poodles share a square outline, with a long, elegant neck and a straight back. The tail is docked, but not short, so it can wave gaily. Poodles tend to have a leggy appearance and a long muzzle combined with dropped ears. They move with a springy, lively gait. The coat of the poodle is its crowning glory. Dogs competing in the breed ring must have a specific clip, with areas of extravagant hair coupled with skin-tight clipping. These clips actually developed for a reason. They provided thick coat over the joints and chest to keep the dog warm while working in cold water. Many guardians elect to keep their dogs in a kennel or working clip, with the coat clipped fairly short and pom-poms left on the head and tail. A few poodles are seen with a corded coat, in which the tight curls form long bands like dreadlocks. The poodle coat should be tight and curly unless brushed out vigorously. Poodles are known as good dogs for people with allergies because the hair does not routinely shed out. Instead, it mat to itself. This is why poodles need clipping or frequent grooming because the mats can be painful. The commonly seen colors of poodles are silver, black, white, apricot and chocolate. Reds do appear as well as creams and blues. Number 8. Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu are perky and happy. The Shih Tzu tends to require a large amount of personal attention. Because it thrives on human company, it can easily become spoiled. The Shih Tzu is often slightly longer than tall, with a sturdy body and a good-sized head. The muzzle is quite short, with an undershot bite. The head is rounded and the eyes are quite prominent. The tail is carried gaily curled up over the back. The gait is long and swift for such a small dog. The Shih Tzu is covered with luxuriant, long, straight hair. This double coat does require a fair amount of upkeep, especially if left long on these short dogs so that it sweeps the ground. Any color is acceptable for the coat, but dark pigment is preferred around the eyes and on the nose. Shih Tzu are very easy to keep and quickly become obese if given too many treats. They do not need or want a mile hike every day, but they do enjoy walks and should be kept fit. Shih Tzu do compete in obedience and agility with some success. Beware of exercising a Shih Tzu in hot, humid weather with the short muzzle, the breed is prone to heat stroke. Number 7. Golden Retriever. Because Golden Retrievers are easy to please, they respond positively to obedience training. They complement this trait by being playful, affectionate and even tempered. The Golden Retriever has a water-repellent coat that is wavy or flat and gold to cream in color. One of the most attractive features of this breed is the feathering on the neck, legs, thighs, underside and tail. The dog's head is strong and broad. The ears are not very large, but they sit high on the head and hang just below the jawline. The chest is deep, and the body is well balanced. Golden Retrievers live about 10 to 13 years. The Golden Retriever is even-tempered, intelligent and affectionate. Golden Retrievers are playful, 
yet gentle with children, and they tend to get along well with other pets and strangers. These dogs are eager to please, which probably explains why they respond so well to obedience training and are such popular service dogs. They also like to work, whether it involves hunting birds or fetching their guardian slippers. Golden Retrievers are not often barkers, and they lack guard instincts, so do not count on them to make good watchdogs. However, some Golden Retrievers will let you know when strangers are approaching. Number 6. Yorkshire Terrier. The Yorkshire Terrier is energetic, feisty and domineering, but also affectionate. It is considered a good apartment dog, but it can be stubborn with house training. Yorkshire Terriers are among the smallest of dogs, standing only 6 or 7 inches tall and weighing anywhere from about 2 to 7 pounds. The Yorkshire Terrier's most notable feature is its coat, which is long, fine and straight. The hair is a steel blue color on the body and tail, and elsewhere it is tan. The tail is usually docked to half its natural length. Long hair on the top of the head is another characteristic feature and is often tied up with a ribbon, giving the dog a jaunty appearance. Yorkshire Terriers make excellent watchdogs. But they can be snappy toward other children if not treated respectfully or gently. Some might also be aggressive toward other small animals, but some Yorkies live quite peacefully with other dogs and even cats. Number 5. Boxer. Boxer an intelligent, loyal pet, the boxer has a high need for companionship and exercise. They are not happy when regularly left home alone. Boxers are stocky, muscular and powerful. Boxers have regal, distinctly shaped square heads. Their jaw is undershot and the muzzle blunt. They have a broad, deep chest and a relatively short, strong back. Boxers' ears fold over naturally, but traditionally, their ears have been cropped to stand erect. Their tails generally are docked and carried high. Their feet are compact and the toes are arched. The boxer's coat is short and sheds moderately. Some boxers are a rich, fawn color and others are brindle. Their face or mask is usually black, but many have white face markings and white on the chest and paws. Boxers are intelligent, high energy, playful dogs that like to stay busy. Their temperament reflects their breeding. They prefer to be in the company of their owners and are loyal pets that will fiercely guard their family and home against strangers. Number 4. Dachshunds. The Dachshund is a loyal companion and good with children, but because of its long back, Dachshunds are prone to disc problems. Therefore this dog is not a good choice for anyone with many steps in the home. All three varieties of Dachshunds the smooth, wire and long-coated are found in two sizes called standard and miniature. All three types are known for their long backs and short muscular legs, which explains the unflattering nicknames, Sausage Hound, or Hot Dog. They also have a long muzzle, long and droopy ears, and a tail carried in line with the back. Despite their size, Dachshunds are known for their courageous nature and will take on animals much larger than themselves. Some may be aggressive toward strangers and other dogs. As family dogs, Dachshunds are loyal companions and good watchdogs. They are good with children if treated well. They can be slightly difficult to train. Number 3. Beagle. Beagle is a cheerful, affectionate dog. The Beagle prefers company this breed can be highly destructive and bark excessively if left alone. Beagles come in two basic sizes. Beagles are muscular, solid dogs with a slightly domed skull. Their muzzle is squarish and the nose broad. Ears are long and droopy. Their chest is deep, back is straight and they have a moderately long tail that is carried high. The breed's smooth, dense coat is usually black, tan, and white. Beagles are widely considered to be good with other pets and children. They are cheerful dogs that like affection. They prefer company, however, and if left alone, may howl and be destructive. According to one consumer's guide on dogs, Beagles also top the list for excessive barking and can be difficult to housebreak and obedience train. Number 2. Labrador Retriever. The Labrador possesses numerous endearing traits intelligence, easy to train and being an excellent family companion. They require moderate exercise, but if not provided, or if left alone, labs can be destructive. Labrador Retrievers are sturdy, solid dogs. They are almost square in appearance, with a strong body and sturdy legs. 
The maximum height for a male is 24 inches, which puts them in the medium-sized dog category, but their sturdy build can make them seem much larger. The Labrador Retriever is a moderately fast maturing breed, reaching adult height from 6 to 12 months, but possibly still filling out up to 2 years of age. Many labs reach 12 to 14 years of age. In general, Labrador Retrievers are excellent family dogs, as long as you keep in mind their need for exercise and training. These are dogs bred to work and work hard and they love to have jobs to do, particularly retrieving. Labs are usually good with other dogs, other pets, and children as long as training has toned down their natural exuberance. They are strong dogs and need some obedience training at an early age or they can be seen dragging their owners down the street at will. Number 1. German Shepherd. German Shepherd's smart and easily trained. The ever-popular German Shepherd is quite active and likes to have something to do. Therefore, they need ample daily exercise daily. Otherwise, they become mischievous or high-strung. To prevent over-guarding and aggressive behavior, German Shepherd dogs should have socialization and obedience training at a young age. He is a well-proportioned dog. The head is broad and tapers handsomely to a sharp muzzle. The ears are rather large and stand erect. The back is level and muscular, and the tail is bushy and curves downward. The coat is thick and rough and may be black, tan, black and tan or gray. The coat should be harsh and of medium length, however, long-coated individuals occur often. German Shepherd dogs get along well with children and other pets if raised with them, but in keeping with their guarding instincts, they tend to be leery of strangers. The breed is considered to be smart and easy to train. There you go guys the top 10 most popular dog breed in 2021. Hope this video will helps you to get to know more about this loyal, adorable and lovable creatures. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more furry creatures update and info.